So hi everybody and welcome back to Sunreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners and we are continue to create our main menu. We stopped with our widget which we created and in this video I show you first how to add this widget to our screen. So what we have to do is we have to call this image because when we start here now there appears nothing. And how we are going to do this there are different ways and the first thing is to say hey where uh, I can call this actually there is a level blueprint let me show you what I mean um, you can call it here where is this level blueprint oops this was here it, uh, it was here I think yeah no it was not here <laughs> anyway there is anywhere a level blueprint I forgot just where it is anywhere here on top and anywhere there i uh, don't use it so much and it's also not a very good place but very handy for prototyping for testing but in general you can use it when you know exactly that it is not it makes not a problem and the reason why i'm not using a level blueprint it is sometimes hard to reference to a level blueprint and that's why the second place is for example and that's why we made the game mode here we are uh, uh, using the game mode so and actually we are going now to the game mode <laughs> and how we go to the game mode here my easy mode you can search it or here the easy mode here magnitude sign click on it it pops up double click it's up and when you see something like that this is just a small version of the game mode it's not the you can open up here the full blueprint this is only for fast changes without opening this one but we open here the full blueprint and then we are in our game mode let's click our main menu for, for right uh, away and here we have your compiler results we don't need this one what do we have here here is all fine so the game mode here's a viewport uh, i showed them and there is nothing and here's our event graph which means we are going to code a little bit and this is blueprint coding actually and we start with event begin play for coders there is normally a construction script a coder would start rather here a programmer when i say a coder but in unreal engine we start here in game mode and when you play uh, when you press play it will trigger this node and it's almost all time the same note so event back in play we what we want to do is now find a way to call this widget and the way we do this one is we drag this out and write uh, create widget the nice thing about blueprint coding is that mentioned too we have not to know exactly the name and when you are going to c plus plus or something other programming language you have to know exactly the name here in blueprint coding absolute not you write what you think it is but you know you should know uh the direction <laughs> where you what you want and then it pops up and you say ah that one i need something like that that's cool so here it says uh, construct this is a uh, create widget uh, because we have already created a widget but this one needs to create a widget as well and what this creating of widget means it takes this widget what we created here as an object and but right now we have a problem it's asking what object you want and of course we select here our widget blueprint main menu and the next thing is what we do uh, this one will be created but when i compile and save um, it's not added here on the screen right i can play here it's a fast play uh, preview and there is still nothing we have to do one more thing after this return value you pull this out and search add to viewport and it jumps here it says add to viewport it's all time the same process here that's why i know this notes and <laughs> you will learn this easy as well add to viewport there was one more other note it was add to screen you can read the tool put, uh, tool tip what it says uh, add a few balls is that what we use right now so that said when i compile save let's see if this is already working when i press and yes it is working let's go here to the bigger screen let's I'll keep the content drawer here whatever here 
this is our screen. The only problem is when I press start, nothing happens because we have not coded well, to start the game or to quit the game. But it is coming on the screen. But we have here one more problem because I said you can use here background image, amazing graphics, and it would look awesome. Like you see, there are many moon menus who look awesome. They just put a background image and it works. In our case, I said, I'm not a very good drawer. <laughs> That's why I create here this map. And I think with that said, we will start to create this map. Uh, is this the right way? I think yes. This was a very short video, but well, should we start to start creating? Yeah, we should start creating. Okay, let's continue a little bit. And what we do next is uh, we need here uh, when we start this. Uh, when we start this one here, we need here, for example, a new map. You can make it like you want, but it's easy to say how we make this, right? How we create here something. Here is nothing. This is an empty map. So there are different ways. Let me show you how we can do it. We go here, for example, we go to the add button here on top. This is all time our add, bu add button. And instead of using this one we can click here on window and activate this place actor this is similar this one is the shortcut more or less and this one is place actor what we know this one has additional interesting things which we will talk to probably you know it mega scan uh yes and probably bank a scale quick little bridge and mega scans are very cool but right now we need just this one and here I want just a light. Let's start with lights. And I point here the light hint. And when I start, there's still nothing. Okay. I have a light, but there is nothing. So what I can do is I can put a mesh. There is also a mesh option. You can click here a little bit round and read them through. I'm not doing this one. Here are some shapes and a mesh. It's called here static mesh. Uh, you can read again the tooltip. And we pull it here down and I the light should be of course here too and you see now it's lighting up right and I play here and I see nothing what's the problem the problem here is um, when we start this game it is actually mm, the problem is the camera is anywhere else probably here and we see still nothing so we have to add one more thing and this is a camera let's do this one and right here camera yep yeah. here and we add this camera as well so now we can see a preview here on the right side added the camera it's all dark <laughs> it's all dark but it's okay and if i press now let's click this light go to details perhaps we can uh, Go to details, set up the intensity perhaps. There are options. You read the options one time through or look the uh, documentation. But in our case, let's make the intensity is the, uh, nothing. And if you mess up like me and you see there is nothing changing, there is this back arrow here on the right side. And that means you can reset it to the default value. That's very handy. And in our case, we do this. So let's select here in our outline again, our camera actor. Here is our preview. We see not much. And when I press play, we see still nothing. What is the problem? The problem is the camera is not selected. So which means you want that this camera is auto active. Let's start how we can make this. We go to the camera here. We go to the details panel. Uh, auto activated it is actually auto activated auto activated why well, we have this one here too what's that <laughs> auto activate i don't know save this let's see if this is working no it's not <laughs> and uh, there is something strange let me see this one camera actor is placed and we go to auto activation auto activate yeah it should 
be auto activated, but it's not compiled as fast. One more time. No, save all. Save all. Let's see why this is not activated. Okay. I don't know. This is the perfect time to stop this video. And in the next video, I continue with this. I check this out why this is not auto activated. Or perhaps we have to code this. I'm not too sure. Perhaps it's just the wrong option but this video is already too long that's why i stop here and in the next video we continue with this one see you there bye